Hi everyone, so as you probably will have guessed from the title of this video, I am pregnant. This is my pregnancy announcement video, um, which is really exciting, but quite scary. We're both quite nervous because it's still really early days, of course. I have done a whole video on our trying to conceive journey, so I will leave that linked below if you would like to go and check that out as well. But briefly, me and Matt got married one year ago in May 2018. I came off the pill about a month later and then we started trying to conceive from around November 2018. At first my periods were quite regular, then they were very irregular. I never had any positive ovulation predictor tests so I was quite worried. So I went to the doctor, I had blood tests and I literally had just had a scan. Um, an ultrasound scan and an internal scan but then I had a pregnancy test which was positive so I must have already conceived during that scan which is a bit crazy because that scan did show that I had polycystic ovaries and I'm still awaiting a doctor's appointment to kind of diagnose if I've got PCOS or just polycystic ovaries so kind of the fact that we then had a positive test was just amazing because we didn't expect it Having said that, however, obviously before the test I had symptoms and signs. So around day 33, I think it was, which I think is around 10 days past ovulation from what my calculations, I started to get quite a mild cramping. So like period pains, but kind of they would come and go. And I thought it was a bit odd because recently, every time I've had my period, I've always had spotting the day or two before but there was none of that so I thought okay is my period coming maybe this cycle I just don't have any spotting or is it something else but you you kind of worry you don't want to be too hopeful just in case but I did kind of have a feeling about that so that continued for a few days Matt had mentioned that I'd been snoring since we came back from holiday basically and during holiday was my fertile period and since then he said that I've been snoring and I thought, hmm, like, is that a bit odd? Could that be a sign of something? So anyway, on day 36, which, you know, it was, it was a fairly long cycle for me, like that would have been one of my longest cycles, I thought, I'm going to take a test. So I waited until a morning when my we would have been the most concentrated and I took the test. And I didn't look at it, but I kind of, I don't know, I kind of felt that it was going to be be positive and Matt, Matt looked first and he was like there's a second line and I looked there was um, I read the instructions about five times just to like check two lines does mean that I am pregnant and we were just in shock because although I'd had the symptoms I'd had the cramping I'd had the snoring which I, I don't know if that is related or not but plus I had the, the soreness in my boobs which again you have before your period or, or I do but that was all obviously symptoms of pregnancy. So very pleased, very happy, but you know, kind of for the first couple of days, we were both like, oh, you know, if all goes well, with lots of ifs because we were just so nervous and we still are, but I think bit by bit, we're kind of getting used to the idea and, and feeling a bit more positive. So my positive test was Friday and it's now Tuesday. So it's still really early days. I'm feeling kind of fine. I've still got the soreness. I don't know if I'm still snoring, we'll have to ask Matt about that. I do kind of have the, have the old twinge kind of in my, um, like in, on my belly, twinges, a bit crampy and the odd bit of backache, like when I lean over it sometimes is a bit sore, it's a bit of an effort. I am feeling quite full up in the mornings, like I'm not always eating my breakfast or sometimes at lunch I'm just not that hungry I'm finding, so whether that is related to that as well, it probably is. So yes, as I say, we only found out a few days ago. I don't know when I'm due because I go on. you can go on the calculator to work out when your due date would be. However, they all, obviously they always count from your first day of your last period. Um, and you can kind of change the length of your cycles. But because my cycles are irregular, I'm not quite sure what to put in. So I'm not sure if I'm at four weeks, five weeks. But I will be putting on weekly updates i'm not going to upload any of these videos until i'm actually on maternity leave so keep an eye out for all my other videos and join me on my pregnancy journey and yeah thanks for watching and i will see you in my next one bye